Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are starting the Shabbat call, which is the 5 p.m. Jerusalem time call, and it is on the 19th of April, 2024. And we have Yuli um, leading us today, and it's always uh, so wonderful to have her from Hernhut, and having met her, it is such a wonderful experience to have her leading. So I'm just uh, going to hand over to her for now, and then she will direct the meeting. First of all, I'd just like to pray for all of you who've come on to the Shabbat call, that you have a wonderful experience as we go um, into even into breakout rooms, and, and we actually um, have a time together to actually um, do what you, Yuli would like us to do. So bless you now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. I I welcome you also, and uh, it is it is great that even though I see only a few faces, I can imagine the other ones by uh, because you you are um, faithful participants in the uh, Global Watch watches, and there's a relationship cro uh, that's growing over the months and years that we are joined in this praying family that uh whether it's margaret in in malta katya in the uk vienna uh, i could name all of you right right now even like mary in australia that i've never met in person but still we we it feels like my auntie <laughs> just because uh of uh, your commitment to the Lord and to this uh, prayer calls. And um, today we're uh, in the in the uh, last uh, days leading up to uh, the, the glorious Pesach holiday. Uh, this uh, Shabbat is actually called uh, Shabbat Hagadol, the uh, the great Shab uh, Shabbat and uh, many Jewish housewives uh, are quite worn out by now because uh, ever since uh, Purim they have uh, been on the cleaning marathon in their houses um, uh, where everything is turned upside down um, uh, even the wardrobes and cut cupboards are removed from the wall to clean the spider webs uh, uh, behind and underneath. The drawers are emptied, the, all the clothes are washed and to put back to the shelves. The car is being washed and um, I, I first thought I, I um, um, put on a meme like a cleaning instruction video for Pesach cleaning. But I felt um, as funny as that is or useful as this is, this um, is uh, would rather be uh, a distraction to what this call is about. Uh, I heard an Orthodox la lady describing her Pesach cleaning in the house. Um, uh, connected to a spiritual meaning that as she works herself uh, from room to room, she she would ask what has happened in this room that that grieved God and that is uh, like leaven, like chametz that has to be removed for us to uh, regain uh, inner freedom, and so this. Uh, this um, outward cleaning um, is is a reflection of of a process that should take um, place in our hearts, and we read about uh, leaven, chametz in the New Testament, um, in at different there's different scriptures and even different meanings about leaven. It is mentioned uh, in, uh, in Luke where Jesus said 
he he actually compares the advancement of the kingdom of God with with a little a tiny bit of leaven and um in the dough that on the flour that will turn the whole dough uh into bread and just as uh, the advancement of the kingdom is unstoppable um so in that case it is uh, in this uh, comparison leaven is not uh, anything evil uh, later on he uh, after the uh, feeding of the 5000 um jesus said we should uh, be aware or refrain from the leaven of the pharisees and uh then um paul quotes it and i read from first corinthians 5 uh verse 6 to 8 your chlorine is not good do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump therefore purge out the old leaven that you may be a new lump, since you truly are unleavened. For indeed, Christ, our Passover, was sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. And I have to admit that I got stuck in in the halfway through my Pesach cleaning at at home um I started early enough but uh either our house is too big or our family is too big or just our house is too messy um I will not I I won't have the chance to to get my Pesach uh cleaning done the kosher way before uh, at a Pesach but I uh, but I know that um, he who who started the good works in me is also going to finish it and that, that it doesn't rely on all my outward efforts, but that I, um, yeah, we can claim the, the sacrifice of the Passover lamb, the, the atonement for, um, for our righteousness that is not about our achievements and our endeavoring but it's about it's about accepting the lord's sacrifice and this is um what uh guarantees our freedom and so what i have on my mind today is inviting you to a spiritual pesach cleaning and um it is we could do it you you close your eyes and uh go from room to room in your in your apartment or houses um but we want to do it a bit differently we want to go into into rooms into breakout rooms and have uh four of four or five or six together and just ask the lord to sh shed his light on on our hearts and our even our dark corners and then um use the time to uh to do something that we in the at least in the western church are not very familiar or comfortable with uh to confess our sins to one another um but that's a biblical recipe to humility and true freedom and whatever is going to be shared in the breakout room is uh is to be staying there um and as the breakout rooms close also this this chapter is closed <laughs> but uh but i i pray uh for uh what paul writes a sincerity of heart and truth um, so that we would experience Pesach as that celebration of freedom and uh, to whom much is given, 
from from them is required much and uh to whom uh much is forgiven that loveth much and and that and uh as always with Ulrika on the call it's an experiment but this is not about uh, you being an audience uh, and exposed to new information. This is about us upholding our hearts to the Lord. And I would like to invite, no, I'm not going to name a volunteer. I'm not going to name anyone. I'm looking for a volunteer to open up this in prayer. And then we'll have uh, a song uh, preparing us before we meet in the breakout rooms. And I believe I, I will leave it to Joe and the Holy Spirit to decide who is going to end up with whom in the breakout rooms. But be assured this it's not going to be a coincidence. So any volunteer to open us up in prayer. And in the meantime, oh yeah, Joe already posted um, uh, in the chat uh, a link to a list of scriptures about confessing your sins to one another and the uh, scripture in 1 Corinthians that I uh, read out. Now, I don't see a hand up, Peter, Raymond, would you be willing to open us up in prayer? Yes, Lord, you invite us to be searched by your spirit. As David said, you've searched me and known me. And sometimes we're not very good at speaking truth to ourselves or with ourselves, let alone to others or to you. So I'm inviting your spirit into this space to do your work of searching, of cleansing, of renewing, of whatever it is that you have for each of us in this space. Help us to tell the truth in the fear of the Lord. I ask in Jesus' name. Okay, Joe, do you want to go ahead with the song? Yeah, we have we have about half an hour in the pray God rooms, so there is time to pray for each other. It's not going to be a, a, a an entire counseling <laughs> counseling session, but that's not the purpose. I think uh, things uh, in God's kingdom are are rather easy. It, they're not comfortable, but they're easy. And we just want to apply the word and confess our sins to one another and pray and bless one another and, and cover, cover one another and spur each other on to love and good deeds. Right, good. Um, so I we are at the top of the hour and... As we're moving, as we're moving from Hametz <laughs> to Matza, um, we're still we still haven't entered the Pesach uh, week, so it's up to you whether your whether uh, the, your elements is leavened or unleavened bread. <laughs> or uh, it's about your um, revelation or conviction or uh, yeah theology when it comes to the Lord's Supper but I asked Michael to lead us in that and um, uh, and also uh, praying uh, in concluding our um, our sharing in the in the pray God rooms yeah, I think of what Jesus said. It was with great longing that he desired to share this meal with his disciples. And that's still his heart for us to 
uh, as he said to the church in Laodicea, uh, I'm knocking at your door. If anyone opens the door, uh, I will have fellowship. I'll have a Seder meal with them. So, Lord, we thank you that uh, you have invited us uh, into the fellowship of uh, your son, uh, Lord, that uh, you've made the way for us. You provided the uh, living bread that, uh, Lord, we can partake of regularly, Lord. So, Lord, so we just accept that invitation now, and uh, we just take this bread in remembrance of you, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Hamotzi Lechem Min Haoretz. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Please take the element. We thank you, Lord, for shedding your blood for us, for the remission of sins, uh, that there is no cause of guilt, shame, Lord God, or condemnation, because you have paid the price uh, for our sin. And thank you that blood is our protection, as it was for the Israelites, that uh, the angel of death has no claim upon us. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Pari Hagafen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. Please partake. And Lord, we thank you for this time as we've confessed our sins, we purged the leaven. Uh, you're faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So Lord, we wanna observe the Passover and the feast of unleavened bread, Lord God. Uh, make us a new loaf to you, Lord, as one body. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, as uh, uh, the uh, Passover feast uh, is approaching, um, I extend the invitation of the Lord to his feast to you. And whether it's going to be a remarkable time throughout next week, uh, just between you and the Lord, or whether you make it a corporate effort with your families or home groups or congregations, um, I, I, bless, I bless you in this Pesach season. Um, uh, may the Lord guide you and lead you uh, in, in this process. And as Pesach is about making the Exodus story your own and passing it on to the children to give uh, credit and honor to what the Lord has done and, um, and to pass on the baton, uh, sharing uh, his, his interventions in the past uh, to see uh, this um, in our lifetimes and, and in the days beyond. Uh, because the Bible says uh, the Israelites will not rem remember or will not remind the Exodus from Egypt anymore. Um, there is yet a greater Exodus awaiting us. And so uh, this Pesach story or reliving the Pesach story is also a preparation of heart for the days ahead. And may may you partake and find yourself in the story and contribute to the story becoming alive in your days and in your in your families and with the people the lord puts across your way so uh, shabbat shalom uh, shabbat shalom to each other. thank other so much <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Thank shabbat you. shalom yeah. And whether you actually spend the next day bleeding hard to make your, your flat shine and reflecting the purity of your heart, uh, mm -hmm. just invite uh, invite invite uh, Yeshua into the ordinary and, and make even those uh, physical things 
a spiritual experience that gives uh, glory to Yeshua. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Thank you, Thank Shabbat you for leading us. Shabbat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Shabbat shalom. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Right. Bye. See you again.